Today we have with us our student Neil Rambia, currently studying at IIT Mumbai. Neil is Mumbai rank 1 in JE Main 2022. His JE Advance All India rank is 187 and he scored 96.5 in his 12th boards. So Neil, good to see you here and uh, uh, we would like you to share your life in IIT Mumbai. So I hope you must be enjoying it. Yeah. So can you please uh, share that with our students? Yeah, it's actually fun that we have studies also, we have extracurricular activities also and like it's like a complete dream world for me. We even have made new friends, we have heated discussions. It's like the genius minds having heated discussions on very different topics. Then we meet our alumni also, there are different fests. So it's total fun there. Yes, that's great. Uh, Deel, uh, would you share your uh, journey after 10th to reach to IIT Mumbai about your uh, studies uh, when you were preparing for IIT JE? Well, so basically after 10th, I was not sure that I had to do IIT or what I had to do. So I just took up engineering and uh, like I chose with Jalanka to continue for the studies. And then I did what I did and that's <laughs> Any subjects specific tips like uh, you had to do? Yeah, for physics, chemistry, maths, how did you study in these two years? So basic thing is that you need to focus on the concepts there and like not only the formula but also the how it is derived that main part is the derivation and the main concept regarding it and for physics basically the yeah just the thing is the concepts are there so uh, in any advanced question you will not be asked the formula directly you will have to derive it because uh, the question will tweak in some twist to whatever you have studied that way and in chemistry the theory is important especially in organic and inorganic chemistry in organic the mechanisms are important and in inorganic so you have to study NCRT thoroughly hmm. and if possible other extra sources as well you mean to say some reference books and yeah. that's true uh, and in maths basically uh, you need to practice a lot of sums because along with the normal approach there is, uh, you have to have like a left brain approach where uh, like you have to do some shortcuts or some special trick so that you can solve it faster than others so you had prepare your own notes also yeah while studying yeah okay see practice is the key to success so uh, during these two years of preparation what was your approach towards taking tests that we used to schedule it uh, every week and even towards the end the full syllabus test yeah so i took them thoroughly and uh, diligently like without any unfair means i used to give the test and the next day do it proper analysis of it huh. then whatever doubts I had I asked my friends I asked the professor and cleared it right so can you just say like analysis means what exactly you used to do so I went through each and every question again I saw what my approach hmm. was what the prescribed solution is given hmm. and generally if it's different I try to see which one was better right and if I don't uh, I was not able to solve the question at that time or it was incorrect I would resolve it so that means every test you that you have taken, you always have done the analysis, yeah. resolved the one which uh, okay, which you got wrong yeah. and the one which you did not attend that time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the scores that you used to get during these full syllabus FLTs and your final exams, how would you relate those scores? Mm -hmm. So initially when the FLT started, I was uh, uh, struggling with the time management part huh. and some of uh, the syllabus also was pending hmm. but as in I started giving tests, uh, it became kind of a habit and hmm. was able to manage well even in the final level. Okay, so you had a, a fixed strategy uh, towards attempting yeah. the subject in a paper? Yeah. So what was your, of course it would be different for every student but uh, what was your strategy? So my strategy fortunately worked well for me, I don't know about others. Right. Basically, I used to do physics, chemistry, math, but I would uh, change the type of pattern, especially in advanced questions. Okay. For example, if there is a single correct, I would do that first, physics, chemistry, math, okay. then maybe para type and okay. then in a multiple correct. Okay. And if the multiple correct has partial marking, I would do it first and then the para type that. So that you uh, uh, applied even during the practice yeah. test that we conducted yeah. and the same you applied uh, at the, the final point. examination. Okay, okay. So uh, every student, okay, he go through ups and downs during these uh, two years of preparation. 
So, was the case even uh, with you yeah, during absolutely. that phase? Yeah. Hmm? So, how, how one has to manage that particular phase? So, like keep motivating yourself and going on because all the hard work you'll, you do now will always pay you back in some good way. So, that keep way. motivating means what you used to do to keep yourself motivated. That's what whatever hard work I do right huh. now, huh. it is going to pay me a hit. So, I would so still you have it. that confidence. Yeah. So, okay, I, I will still do better. Yeah. That's great. Now, uh, you know, like these, all these students who are preparing for advance, uh, you need, I mean, students need to give tests like uh, 12th boards, then uh, with J mains, with SAT, J advanced, and even engineering CT. So you excel in every such examination. So how did you manage that? So honestly, I was only preparing for J advanced by the last huh. three to huh. four months, and these exams I just gave it like a practice test. Yeah, so since your basics were clear, that yeah. has given you results in yeah. each and every final examination. That's great. Uh, what message you would like to give to students who are preparing now for these exams? That uh, hard work is the key to success. That's true, but students always like to hear it from a student who has already achieved. Okay, so. Uh, what guidance you would like to, I mean, how they should prepare, uh, uh, what they should do or what they should not. So maybe I would say you shouldn't waste time a lot in these two years because the time is limited. So maximum time you should put on your studies hmm. and do it, uh, actually do it diligently hmm. and be obedient towards your studies and follow what the professor says. Keep doing all the assignments, the tutorials. So be consistent, yeah. regular and honest Yeah. because many tests happen even online. So you need to be very honest mm -hmm. while taking the test, right? So uh, thank you very much, Neil. And uh, you are pursuing your electrical engineering at IIT Mumbai. So uh, like what is what is the first year that you have, uh, in, you are in IIT and what is your experience about electrical? Has anything you have started with or so basically there is a department introductory course for every department okay. where they teach the basics and so in electrical engineering we are, uh, they are teaching us the basics from okay. uh, the concepts we learnt in JE to how we will relate it to further courses and from the second year. Right. So, uh, thank you very much Neil for your time and uh, I hope our students would definitely follow your guidelines. Okay. Thank you and all the very best for your future.